There are places that are virtually off limits to everyone, ranging from ancient human settlements to areas of extreme danger. Let's dive in and explore 10 forbidden places you're not allowed to visit. Starting at number 10, Uluru, Australia. Uluru is the most recognizable natural landmark in Australia. Located around 208 miles to the southwest of Alice Springs, it's deep within the outback of the country's northern territory and became a popular tourist destination in the 1930s when it was more commonly known as Ayers Rock. The problem, though, was that the natural sandstone formation, which stands 1,142 feet tall, has been a place of spiritual significance to the indigenous people for a long time and from well before outsiders settled in Australia. The countless numbers of tourists that were walking up onto it were causing severe damage to its delicate structure. There were also concerns about how visitors were disrespecting Uluru after a number of incidents of tourists drinking alcohol and stripping on top of the sacred mound. So, in 2017, there was a unanimous vote to ban people from being able to climb it. This new law came into effect in October of 2019, and now, while you're able to witness it from a nearby visitor center, no one's allowed to set foot on it. Even photos from certain angles are prohibited in accordance with traditional beliefs, and offending images have been removed from Google Earth as a mark of respect. Number 9, Prevsika Brana, Czech Republic. Located in Bohemian Switzerland, a region in northwestern Czech Republic, Prevsika Brana is a breathtaking natural sandstone arch. It stands 52 feet tall, 26 feet wide, and spans a total of 87 feet. This unique formation began to take shape over 90 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Once a popular attraction due to its remarkable shape, the arch faced significant wear and tear from visitors. In 1982, authorities decided to close the arch to the public to prevent further damage, as the foot traffic was weakening its structure. Since then, large chunks have broken off, and had it remained open, the entire arch might have collapsed by now. Although you can no longer stand on or walk under the arch, it remains visible in all its glory from several nearby vantage points. You might recognize it from its prominent appearance in the 2005 movie The Chronicles of Narnia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Number 8, Surtsey Island, Iceland. The country of Iceland is known for its incredible natural landscapes and dramatic volcanic activity, and one of the most recent and striking examples of this is Surtsey Island, which is around 20 miles from the southern coast. Following an undersea eruption that began in 1963, the island formed and emerged from the waves and has since become one of the world's newest landmasses. Recognizing this as a unique opportunity to study how ecosystems develop in a newly created environment, the decision was made to limit access to scientists only, and all other visitors have been banned. This was to ensure the natural processes could be observed without any disruption, and strict procedures are in place to make sure that no human contaminants are left on the island to skew the data that's collected. Despite being just over 60 years old, the island is already showing signs of plant life and an increasing diversity of bird species. While it's unlikely it will ever be open to tourists, the findings from the research that's been done on Surtsey will no doubt benefit conservation efforts and our understanding of how nature reclaims a barren landscape. Number 7, Snake Island, Brazil. Around 25 miles off the coast of the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo, there's a small island called Ilha de Queimada Grande, which is more commonly referred to as Snake Island. This is one of the most treacherous places on the planet to visit because it's absolutely filled with venomous vipers and therefore has been declared as completely off-limits by the Brazilian Navy. The snakes, particularly the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, are so deadly that they can potentially kill a human within an hour of being bitten, and this isn't the place you'd want to have an unfortunate encounter with one. It wasn't always like this, however, and it's thought that the snake population took hold between 10,000 and 12,000 years ago after the sea levels rose and cut it off from the mainland. Without many predators and a steady food source of migratory birds, the reptiles began to thrive and now occupy every available space, which has driven people away. Up until the 1920s, there was a manned lighthouse on the island, but since then it's been automated. Only a select group of researchers are allowed to visit and study the snakes, but even they have to undergo strict training and planning to avoid the risk of being bitten. Number 6, Maya Bay, Thailand. Thailand boasts some of the world's most stunning beaches, characterized by pristine white sand and crystal clear blue waters. Among these, Maya Bay Beach on the island of Koh Phi Phi Le is a standout. 
you might recognize it as the location for the 2000 movie The Beach. Following the film's release, tourism surged, with up to 1.2 million visitors annually by 2015, around 80% of whom were international tourists eager to relax in the waters and witness the bioluminescent plankton that illuminate the sand at night. However, this influx of visitors began to take a toll on the beach, exacerbated by damage from the movie's production, necessitating measures to preserve it for future generations. Despite efforts to rejuvenate the area while still accommodating tourists, the Thai government decided to ban all visitors in 2019, a ban that remains in place. Plans are underway to eventually reopen the beach, including a major project to cultivate corals and clean up trash, ensuring Maya Bay is ready for its future visitors. Number 5. Grand Shrine of ISE, Japan There are said to be as many as 80,000 Shinto shrines across Japan, with people being just as likely to worship at home as they are in a public building. And while most welcome anyone who wishes to make use of them for their spiritual beliefs, there's one that only a select few people can enter. Known as the Grand Shrine of ISE, it was built to honor Amaterasu, the goddess of the sun and the universe. Amazingly, the construction of the shrine made use of traditional Japanese woodcraft techniques, which means not a single nail was used. It was first built more than 2,000 years ago, but in accordance with the Shinto ideas of death and rebirth, it's actually fully rebuilt every 20 years, and the last time this happened was in 2013. Today, in respect of how important the shrine is, the only people allowed to enter are priests and the members of the imperial royal family. The closest anyone else can get is to see the shrine from the outside through the wooden fences that surround it, but it is permitted to walk around the grounds, which include a forest and a series of ornamental walkways that were built around 150 years ago. Number 4. Nihau, Hawaii Nihau, the seventh largest inhabited island in Hawaii, is often called the Forbidden Island. Covering 70 square miles, it has been privately owned by the Robinson family since 1864, when they purchased it from the Kingdom of Hawaii. Approximately 130 native Hawaiian residents live on the island, leading a largely traditional lifestyle without many modern conveniences. To preserve the island's unique culture and environment, the Robinson family enforces strict visitation rules. Access is typically restricted to invited guests, relatives of the residents, and government officials. This isolation has allowed Nihau to maintain its distinctive way of life, making it one of the most intriguing and inaccessible places in the world. Number 3. Morgan Island, United States The Isolated Monkey Haven Off the coast of South Carolina lies Morgan Island, a 4,400-acre rocky outcrop that has been off-limits to visitors since 1979. Due to its remote location, it was never permanently inhabited by people. However, in 1979, a colony of free-ranging rhesus monkeys was relocated there from Puerto Rico due to concerns over disease transmission. The rhesus monkeys were part of a research facility in Puerto Rico which faced significant issues with herpes virus B infections. To ensure their safety and to control the spread of the virus, the monkeys were moved to Morgan Island. The island now serves as a controlled environment for studying these monkeys. Managed by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the island is home to over 3,500 monkeys, living in a semi-marine tropical forest. The risk of disease transmission is so high that the monkeys are fed using an automated system from a nearby building. Only occasional researchers are permitted to visit Morgan Island, also known as Monkey Island, and they must undergo strict quarantine measures upon their return to prevent any potential spread of diseases to the general population. Thanks for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for future updates on more exciting videos. See you next time.